that uh, whatever one you log into is all you baby because it's going to connect okay. right up yeah we'll do we'll do we'll do we'll do just regular old sheldon <laughs> just good old shell <laughs> good old good old shell all right like we're live yeah. we are live Ooh. from Hello. Hyde Park Massachusetts hi guys <laughs> Hello, hello. Hello. Thursday. It is Thursday. It is. Up, and there is your request. There we go. Bring Shelton in. Amazing. All right. Now we are officially. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Instagram. So it's connected. There, it there is. we go. <laughs> we are on Instagram and Facebook live simultaneously. The technical genius that it takes to make this happen is real. Yes. I'm just saying. It is real. It Hi, is real. Sheldon Bartlett Rumor. Hi, guys. Can you hear me okay on all things? I, I yes. can hear you just great. Okay, great. I mean, I'm sure they can hear me in Boston from New Jersey <laughs> at this point. Hi, guys. I know it's a lot. It's really close. It's a process here. Sorry if you're getting full nostril on Instagram. No, it's perfect. Yeah, I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to figure this out. We're just all trying to make it work. I'm trying to make sure that the weave is covered on all angles. <laughs> Depends on. Children, you on. know, every part of you is so beautiful. Even if I just saw your nostril, I'd be happy. I love that. Oh, there we go. I'm smart. There we go. Thank you very much. Making an appearance. The nostrils are making an appearance. Oh I love my that. gosh, there's lots of love going up on uh, on Instagram there. Love. So. So good it's to see been you. a while since we've it seen has. you. Mm -hmm. It has. And for those newbies that might be tuning in, Sheldon, yes. can you give us a elevator pitch Ooh. of who you are and why we love you so much? <laughs> oh, you're so wonderful. I am. I'm obsessed. I'm truly, truly obsessed. I'm wearing my wares. I love them. I love them. Love. Um, I am the CEO and executive producer of This Is It Network. We are a global digital TV network that connects remarkable women to inspiring stories. And so we do that each and every day through our growing community, our engaging content and our real connections. So it's just super, super fun. I just get to talk all day long and I get to meet new friends all day, every Amazing. day. That is in essence, my job is just to meet new people. So it's so fun. It's so fun. I love that you're such an advocate for women and and mm -hmm. always lifting women up and- Thank you. Um, and I just find that so inspirational because there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of women out there that don't do that right. and they're not, they're not part of our clubs. No, so. they're not. They're not. Um, they're not. They're not. No. I love this. This is so super fun. Thank you so much for having me back. It's been too long. I can't wait to, to, to see you guys again soon. I'll make the, I'll make the trip. I know. Well, so tell us where you are, where are you yeah. right now? So I am in Southern New Jersey. Um, mm -hmm. Our studio was in Philadelphia. So New Jersey is on the bridge of obviously New York and Philadelphia. I mean, you can work in New, J New York or work in Philadelphia and live in New Jersey. It's like one of those things. Um, but I live in, you know, and have been quarantined um, in New Jersey. Um, we had a studio in Philadelphia, which we loved so much, but I call that BQ before quarantine. So before quarantine, we were doing that each and every day. And then I've really just leaned into this home office and space. And then now I'm connected with women all over the globe. So it's just been really wonderful to do that. It's just been really wonderful. That's amazing. So tell us how, I mean, I know you gave us a little brief description, yeah. but how has your business changed from um, oh my Lord. BQ Tonight. Yeah, I love you so much for even adopting that. I appreciate you. I got it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's great. I'm going to use uh, it in my everyday uh, life. <laughs> just a wild state of affairs. So I was not well at the beginning of quarantine. I was not okay. Like the lashes weren't on, the weave wasn't combed. Like I just wasn't okay. I was eating sleeves of Oreos, like cobs of corn. Like I was just not <laughs> feeling good about it because I was devastated. I was fixated on the Philadelphia space. I was fixated on the studio. I wanted to have that be the experience, you know, of walking into the studio, you know, you daydream about having your own talk show and what that looks like and what that feels like. And so when that abruptly ended, I was really in a space where I just didn't know how to compute it. And I was talking to my sister, who was always a, an amazing guiding light for me. And she was like, this isn't you, like you didn't do this. 
Like you are in no way responsible for the pandemic. Like, so <laughs> figure out what you are going to do because this is completely out of control. Everybody needs like an older sister that just been like whip you into shape. Um, and at that point I comb the weave, I put on the lashes and I decided that I was gonna do everything from my home studio. And so I redecorated it, I kind of owned my space. And then what has happened as a result is that I now connect with women all across the globe which is like so cool. amazing, right? So this last week, it was like two women from Toronto and another woman from Trinidad and somebody from the UK. And it's just opened me up where I would never have done that at the speed in which I did that if it wasn't for the, the quarantine. So I'm, I'm safe at home um, and have kind of leaned into that um, for every aspect of my business. At one thing that I hope you get enough credit for, but I think a lot of <laughs> women in general, I'd say that the three of us sitting right here yeah. learned a lot about adaptability. <laughs> yeah, the pivot, the power of the pivot, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pivoting is more than just an eight count move. Yeah, <laughs> it's a no, whole lifestyle. <laughs> it is a whole lifestyle. And I think that that for a lot of people, you know, those people who have leaned into it in this time, because there's so much we could not control, right? There's so much that was outside of our control. We are doing our best with the best information that we have at the moment, whatever that information may be. And I think that so many of us are not, um, we were letting, like I was for the first two weeks, letting it happen to us. And we weren't being active participants in our own success and kind of taking it by the steering wheel and kind of guiding what it is that we wanted to do. And I, I'm not saying that with any sense of ease or to, to assume that that's an easy thing to do because we have no roadmap for this. None of these books behind me you know, was like, what to do in a pandemic? Like, that's not a book. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there was no roadmap for this. So we're all just doing the best that we can and being patient with ourselves as we figure it out. But you have to adapt. And I think those that did, right, those that leaned into whether it be the digital space, whether it be, you know, building community or focusing on the community that you have will really, you know, come out AQ after quarantine in a better situation. I agree, yeah. 100%. You also have been on a fitness journey, haven't you? What? I mean, the Oreos didn't help. Like it was a necessity. So I'm a former division one athlete. When I say former, it's 22 years removed. I like to, I like to throw it in there like it's a fun fact, but it's like two decades <laughs> old. And so the muscle memory has exhausted itself. It's done. Like no. there is no, there is no more muscle memory. Like things aren't where they're supposed to be. Right. And that's the natural way of things. It's not, I'm, I love aging. I love getting older. I think I get wiser. So it wasn't that I'm not, I don't want to be 21, but I also have young children. So my daughter turns 10 next week and my son is only three. And so for me, right. Oh, I mean, Exciting. she's 10. I mean, I can't, she's a whole other story. We can do a whole other episode about the girls collectively um yes. but uh they have to meet i'm sure they would they would run the it's room so <laughs> much fun absolutely it would be so much fun it would be so much fun oh i love that so you know in looking at them and really wanting to be active not only in their lives but if they choose to have family and children like their lives as well and that is what i'm thinking i want to retire well if i ever do i want to live well and i and I want to not just be okay. Like I found myself being like, oh, that hurts. Let me just sleep the other way, right? <laughs> like just yeah. kind of let me figure out how right, to right. live with pain, you know? And let me figure out how to live uncomfortably, right? And we all know that friend that has a bad knee and just walks differently now, right? As opposed mm -hmm. to like addressing what that ailment is. And so it was really not about being skinny. Like I've always felt good in my clothes regardless of the size. It's just really been about me being healthier and like being able to yes. really thrive in that way so I can be the best of myself. So I just made small changes. So for all of you out there that are like, oh my gosh, I don't have time. It was like little things. Like I don't eat after 6.30, which is well, crazy because I'm a snack. It was the Oreos though. That again, going back yeah. to the, the Oreos. <laughs> They're so good though. And it's late it's night and it's dark, right? It's my own time with me and my crumbs. Like that was like really the wake up call <laughs> when I woke up and there was like was Dorito crumbs. dust. Yep. And like, I was like, what, what is this? And I was like, oh, those are the Doritos. 
from last night. That's not good. That's not a good sign. Um, though I love a good Dorito. It wasn't, it wasn't a good sign. So I just started to I love to make... a good Dorito. Wait, what? hold on. What flavor Dorito? I, I'm just, I'm just straight nacho. Like, and I like the hot okay. nacho. I like hot, like I'm a hot, I'm a hot person. Mm -hmm. I like the hot nachos, but we don't bring them in because kids are like, whatever. But my problem was Doritos and then the queso dip with the drink. Oh. Stop it, <laughs> so stop good. it. It wasn't what, yeah. the first two weeks were just as if I was in a competition to eat myself out of house. But the fact home. that it was only two weeks, you right. deserve a round of applause. Because well, for, many, <laughs> for many of us, it was two months. <laughs> It was me, a it I just was got so excited I swallowed mm -hmm. my own spit <laughs> 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 or a couple of months. It yeah, wasn't crazy it was two months, and it wasn't just food. I had a really great standing uh, date with I mean, tequila, Pinot pretty Grigio. much every night. I'm just Pinot, mm -hmm. Pinot Grigio, and then I pretended to put it on ice because I was fancy and thinking that that made sense. Like it's watered down, but when you drink the whole bottle, it doesn't really matter. Right. Yeah. Right. You're right. definitely not thirsty, <laughs> but but it's not a good idea, right? So it's not a good idea. So just again, little things. I work out every morning, but nothing. It's not like I'm not. I'm not gonna be, you know, great American. You're not ninja. killing yourself. Like, right. I'm not. It's yeah. not happening. Like it's not. I'm not doing the. Like I'm not pushing tires. Like we're not doing. Right. That. That's not in my life. But for those of you that are doing that, kudos to you. It's just. It was just getting moving because I think that in this space too we're doing a lot of this, you know what I mean? And I was, and that's my business is to sit and do this. And so um, I wasn't moving. And so things weren't circulating and things I'll weren't tell you happening. About, and I mean, I haven't found a solution for this besides squats, but about two months ago, my daughter, we're pretty free like yeah. around the house. Like I'll walk around in my underwear, whether yeah. that's TMI or not whatever it's not TMI it's not we all have well at least I have underwear on so I think we're okay <laughs> yeah. and my daughter Lila came up behind me and was like poking my butt and she <laughs> let me know she's like so funny mommy it's like flat but jiggly at the same time <laughs> mm, so the mouths of babes the mouths <laughs> of babes the you know and then babes. she sticks her she's like but look at this and she has but like look the at best little seven-year-old but right like that cute little gymnastics <laughs> yeah. figure um I love, I but that was you know I, i'm like it probably a couple of years ago i would have been like oh my god you know squats right. lunges blah, blah, blah. and i was kind of like well okay you know, i'm doing my best lila i'm doing my best <laughs> right. okay lila, it's fine lila yeah. is completely fine gravity mommy will wear sweat mommy's friend leave it alone <laughs> right i mean you can't fight gravity like and it's not supposed to be cute. So, so here's my other rationale on that is that we, I'm 43 proudly. And so a 43 year old woman, when we were growing up, in my opinion, was not wearing jeans at all. Needless to say, skinny jeans, needless to say yoga pants, like a second skin. <laughs> you know what I mean? When they were wearing a second skin to the bus stop. Like that wasn't yeah. happening. You had like house clothes. <laughs> <laughs> right. So when I start to think about like, oh my God, then I'm like, oh my God, I'm out of bed. I'm dressed. Like it has to be, for, it has it's to good. be for you. It has to be for you and what it is that you want and the shaming and the bit, I have no patience or time for it. It's really about what makes you feel good. And if, if, if working out, I hope makes you feel good. If, if getting up and moving makes you feel good, then great. It doesn't have to move an inch on the scale as long as it makes you feel good. Absolutely. Yeah. I totally yeah. agree with yeah. that. I found in my journey that might have taken a little bit longer than just two weeks yeah. <laughs> I started journaling and when I would journal journal like you said the baby steps it's the little things you you can put so much pressure on yourself being like I need to lose 30 pounds yes. whereas if you just say this week I'm going to not eat past 6 p.m right. and do it for one week and you realize oh my god that was so easy and you keep going and then you realize that mountain goal is right. that much closer. Right. It's, it's, I gotta it's, say, silver lining of quarantine is learning these little things you can do to make yourself better. I would so never true. be on this journey if it wasn't for the pandemic. Right. For sure not. And I think that for those of you out there that are in that space, it's just the little things. It's just the, 
like the dramatic cold turkey has never really worked for me. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It just has mm -hmm. to be something that I really want and something that I can kind of see happening organically and slowly. And, and here's the deal, <laughs> the body and the physique before quarantine that was like nice and full and warm and like whatever didn't happen overnight. So me losing it or getting back to wherever it is that I wanted health wise wasn't going to happen overnight either. And so I had to really be realistic about, you know, the time frame and get really forgive myself and be patient with myself and, and really enjoy these new foods and products that I'm starting to taste and love. So. Yeah, I'm enjoying I it. I love seeing your closet posts. You have a, a mm -hmm. fantastic <laughs> I, closet. I do. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I have to do a tutorial on the closet um, yes. because because it is magnificent. So yes, my, it really is. I have so many clothes. There's a reality to it. Like, and I was all, I'm my mother's child and she was just very much like that. Like it was really never about and as horrible as it is. And I have some amazing gorgeous expensive bags but like as far as like the day-to-day -day stuff it's always really been like cool quantity over quality because I <laughs> it just always has just been like you know the more the merrier like I just yeah. I love to change with this industry I change like three times a day like honestly if I do like different stuff so I've always kind of accumulated and I've always kind of stayed in this range of sizes so and I don't really like to waste or get rid of things my mm -hmm. husband calls it hoarding, but I don't really like to get to waste or get rid of things. And so, uh, <laughs> tomato, tomato, yeah, call like whatever. Collecting, he calls it hoarding, yeah, ho <laughs> collecting, hoarding, whatever it is. And so he, this is that that closet is a result of that's a hundred percent shout out to Christopher Rumor, a hundred percent shout out to him. So during, what do you mean? Because he, what do I mean? He didn't build, did, yeah, like built the whole thing. So no, he didn't. He, during quarantine, I was eating Oreos. He was turning into chip gains. Hands down. So I was well, like, just not well. So he decided to redo every corner of, we have nothing left to do aside from like large scale floor, like refurbs. Oh my God. So every, he built a bar outside. He redid the, he built built-ins in the family room. He re, we rebuilt and re renovated the bathroom. And so, my closet based on my storing or collecting versus hoarding was the bane of his existence. Like the bane, like I would shut the door and be like, it's fine in there. It's fine. It's totally yes. fine. And he was just like, this is the next project. That was like, as if it was a gift, but, right, then, right. <laughs> but then it was just, it was, it's magnificent. And it's a full, what would be a nursery? Every wall is, it's, it's magnificent. Now, uh that's sexy. Did he get brownie points for that? Like, he is he brownie, like a brownie? Did he got one brownie. Okay, <laughs> a brownie. Not not plural, but one brownie point. If my was, husband started building stuff around the house, I don't even know. Oh, I, it was it was it, it was every day. It was every day, and he was manic, and he like created like he was. But his mother was just like, "Who is this man? Like, where did we get him? Like, I don't even know." And he would Google and he would figure it out. Like the house looks tremendous. Again, these gifts that we have um, from this really awful time um, has been really awesome. And so now I find myself being far more organized because everything has a place to live, which is great. So cool. I mean, my boo changed my light bulbs all over my apartment <laughs> once. And that was enough to get me to That's fair. <laughs> have my heart flutter. Brown. Ladies, ladies, ladies. <laughs> You're creating an unmanageable situation, ladies, right? Yeah. He's going to come on in a minute and be unmanageable. And be like, see, I told you. I told you. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but he, he honestly, the house looks tremendous inside and out. I'm just so pleased. And again, it was trying to find time. He comes from the live event space. So his world was completely shook um, wow. during this time. And so when you're in that space, when you're kind of trying to figure out what to do to occupy yourself, he just threw himself into home renos. So it was, it was really, I, listen, we're all my, again, 10 year old Sydney is just, she's equally unmanageable because she's like, let's just rebuild it. I'm like, what? She's like, well, daddy will just remove it. Like remove a whole like wall. I'm like, no, daddy will not. We're going to keep the wall. Keep, keep How's it. homeschooling going? What was that? <laughs> homeschooling. I mean, I, I'm not equipped. Like I think no, that there's no, no, certain people no. 
Do you know what I mean? That are equipped for certain things. Mm -hmm. I'm not the one. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want new math. I don't need new math. I don't understand. Two plus two. Foundations. Foundations. How's that going? Do you guys have foundations? Yeah, we have foundations. We have, I mean, (laughs) and and it just makes me feel a little, because she'll ask me and she'll give me the look like, why don't you know this? Mm -hmm. Right? As I'm like thumbing through my phone, kind of being like, transition between, (laughs) you know? And I I don't know, but I'm like, I can't. And so shout out to the teachers. It is just not, and again, a same thing. There is no playbook for this. There is no, you know, what am I supposed to be doing? What even, I wasn't, I don't envy being in that meeting, whoever determines whatever that is to be. Uh, Like, I don't envy trying to figure out who goes, um, we're on cohort A. So we go Monday and Tuesday. We're home Wednesday. We're on Tuesday, cohort Friday. A too. Yeah. I knew the girls yes, would be we fun, are. Right. And so we go yeah. Monday, Tuesday, and then they go, then the other, the rest of the school go, you know what I mean? Like it's all. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I was so lucky to find a learning pod. So oh. on the homeschool days, now my girls go okay. to this woman. Um, shout out to Christine Krignali. Not that she would ever be watching this, but she is. <laughs> Phenomenal, Christine. right? Well, she shouldn't be because she has my kids right now. But, I, <laughs> <laughs> um, but she had an she has an in law in her house, a beautiful, you know, carpeted in law yes. with couches and tables in the kitchen. And oh God, I mean, I they really it's been an incredible experience being able to find her. It was I. Th- these are the times where I'm like. My father's looking over me from heaven and he sent me this woman and this situation <laughs> Right. because otherwise, the, Right, and I just, I, I'm not equipped. And I think that she's doing, like, we are very fortunate. We are an amazing school district that supplied, um, that supplied laptops and, you know, all of those things. And so, but I'm very equally aware that there are a lot of children that are out there that don't have those resources, that don't have those spaces. And I can only yeah. imagine what those households are like. I mean, we are like, oh, we're talking first world problems, right? She goes from the computer to the iPad to the whatever, you know, and, right, and right. that alone is, is frustrating, right? And that alone is, you know, hard I can only imagine what it is like for so when I begin to be disgruntled about it I'm like we're good we're fine we're good we're blessed everything will be fine go watch Netflix so fun (laughs) (laughs) speaking of yes are you or have you seen Bridgerton (laughs) I love but see, this is the this is the Netflix late night eat the food like figure like. But now it's like my herbal oh. tea because I'm like in tune with right, my right. comedy. Mm-hmm. But it's still yeah. Netflix late night in the dark like Bridgerton. Oh, right. See, <laughs> I live by myself, and that was just one full day of. Was it not I'm amazing? And, 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 <laughs> oh my you know, god. We can talk about the accuracy of historic blah blah blah. Everybody zip it. Like this is entertainment. <laughs> Yeah, you know I'm saying like when you were you young, entertaining. Right, like when you were young, you watched Talking Unicorns. So please don't tell me that we're trying to find <laughs> absolutely. Like, stop it, absolutely stop it. But uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I can't wait for scene two, and I don't. Oh, well, I can't wait for the scene yeah. two. <laughs> My, <laughs> I had someone that came asked me about the historical accuracy when nobody I nobody cares, about, and what I said it was like it's a Shonda rhymes show do you think Grey's Anatomy is a medically accurate surgery (laughs) yeah it's Shonda Rhimes it's here it's here for us to watch that beautiful beautiful man Uh, (laughs) it's wrong so troubled so wrong so troubled and so broken (laughs) yeah but you know it's making him a good man oh my it's so good it's I'm just it's so great. excited. It was just so good. I just, I like layered cast. I like, I thought it was beautifully done. I mean, I just thought it was just so super fun. And I think that we were, we're all looking for escapes, right? From this, you know, yes. the mundane of the situation. I've been so many things to kind of escape from the, the all day kind of marathon of things. But Bridgerton is, I mean, that was a win. That was yeah. a win. That Agree. Was a win for sure. 100%. <laughs> good, I would good. call it a win if I didn't 
consume it all in one day because right. it's <laughs> right. But, now yeah. I still have nothing. but yeah. now, right, do you not feel this way? Like, so if I try to watch traditional television, and I can comfortably say this being a media, if I try to watch traditional television, I feel so disappointed. I'm like, not until when? Like, when? Five yeah. days. I gotta wait seven days before I see another thing. Like, I'm a binger. Yeah, I completely Same. agree. However, I am a huge RuPaul Drag Race person. Oh, yes, and as you should, as you should. Yeah, so I have all the existing seasons to binge, but having to wait a week for each season 13 episode actually gives me something to look forward to. Yes. I, I cannot wait for Friday night. Oh my God. That is fair. <laughs> that is fair because we don't have that anymore, right? I mean, I remember waiting for like, you know, TGI Friday, right? To be able to sit around yep. the television and watch, you know, and watch your favorite shows. So I, okay, fair enough. I will give you that anticipation. Meanwhile, I'm tortured. You can build anticipation. Right. Yes. So we'll see, I'm the kind of person that needs things to look forward to. Because if I don't have something to look forward to, so I would just like, that's yeah, fair. Even doing. That's definitely fair. That's <laughs> definitely fair. I will give you that. I will yeah. that you can have that. You can have that. That is so fun. That is, so, I love seeing you guys. This is like the highlight of what I get going on for today. What do I have? What else do I have today? Well, you know, so I, tell us about, yeah. cause Lauren and I have just started. Well, first tell us Ooh. where people can find you. Let's do that. And I we'll do that at the end as well. But of course. for anyone who is watching, you okay. must follow Sheldon because she is so inspirational. So oh, much fun. Thank you. Um, so yeah. Thank tell, you. Tell oh, you're that. so awesome. So all of my platforms, again, you know, my network is called This Is It Network. And so you can follow us everywhere you find at This Is It TV. To learn more, the corporate website is This Is It tv.com and to watch all of our exciting and beautiful episodes uh, we launched a new platform called this is it.tv and so all of our shows it's kind of set up like a netflix platform netflix hulu etc it's all kind of like that kind of wonderful interactive um really able to kind of navigate through with no problem search for the episodes and hosts that you'd like um, on the platform and that that's this is it.tv so it's it's just a, i'm i've dove into this pandemic time i dove into this quarantine time and and the result has been not only fruitful but beautiful so thank you so much i love that it's that's very very cool um so lauren and i've just started dipping our toes into clubhouse i just did a clubhouse how are just, you feeling have you been I on there just for a off. while or have I, you been on so my, for a while though or are, are you no no. So I got the invite from a, a close friend and she's awesome. And so then, um, so I was kind of like, I don't know, da, 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 like another platform, which is a lot of you guys are thinking, right? Like another platform. Yes. Oh, and you guys know, job. Yeah. right. Just <laughs> another thing to post that kind of thing. But my issue is that I'm always late, right? Like even with this big personality, like I was late to YouTube. I was late to like, I'm late. Like, so I was like, I have to be at least part of the conversation. I have to be part of Clubhouse. But then it was um, one of the interesting things about Clubhouse, they're not recorded, right? They're just, you know, in the moment conversations. Right. And they're really kind of great. You guys know Vanessa and Jen from Bella. So I was just on a Clubhouse with them. And then I do a weekly Clubhouse every Friday at three o'clock um, where I'm starting to, to figure it out. But I want to make sure that I go where my community is, right? I wanna make sure that I'm accessible to them. That's ultimately the goal. So they really tell me where I need to be as opposed to where I want to be. And they, there's a number of remarkable women throughout the globe that are on Clubhouse. And so that's where I need to be. And then also competitively, I just wanna be in a really good space. I mean, old Sheldon would still be on my space if I was like, right. <laughs> You know what I mean? If I didn't yeah. really care, right? Yeah. So I'm just Absolutely. trying to like make you sure that I- my toppy. I mean, thank you. <laughs> Me and Tom, right? Would be like figuring it out. Remember Tom? Yep. Um, it would be, I'm aging myself so desperately. Kids will be like, what's my space? It's kind of like we're hieroglyphics. Like that's like, going to be the space. Yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but I, I, I enjoy it. I like intimate uh, clubhouses. Um, some of them are huge. And so yes. you don't really get to permit, participate in the big ones. Um, so I like ones that are like, oh, there's two hosts and there's like 40 people. So it's like, okay, great. I can kind of raise my hand and participate. Um, but you, are you guys going to do a clubhouse or are you doing clubhouse? 
I will tell you, <clears throat> I signed up and Holly sent me one to listen to. And it was a clubhouse of how to build a luxury brand. I enter, here I am always, you know, the one raising their hand in the class. Like I, I'm, I'm a participator. Yeah, for sure. And so the second I jumped in, I was like, oh, I'm going to raise my hand and ask a question before it gets too filled up. And here's this one woman talking about how she worked personally with Donatella Versace and another guy talking about how he helped bring up FUBU yeah. and another woman talking about Carl Lagerfeld. <laughs> and all of a sudden I get up to ask my question and I'm just like, oh, and I, like I got nervous and choked right. up and then my profile because I literally signed up the day before yeah wasn't filled was out that day I thought oh, yeah maybe the day it was before. the day before but I had like hadn't touched it or anything like that and wow. this one woman reamed liar. me out liar she was like if you're gonna come on here this is a networking app why is your profile empty your first step here and which had nothing to do with the question I asked your first step is to actually fill out your profile so people know how to connect with you and I was just like like she put, she took me off of my, ha ha, this is a fun place pedestal and down to like a, all right, I'm never going to- I don't like that energy. Fun. Now I don't like that energy. Now I want to find no. her. Now I, I want to find we, her. We were, we were laughing about it because otherwise you'd, you'd be horrified, right? right like right, we were right, like, right. what a B. For sure. For sure. <laughs> I, listen, the, it's, it's the same as any other public place where there are jokes, right? Right, right, right. right, right like we, it, you know, there is an amazing platform that you two will love. Um, if you're not familiar with Quilt, um, no, uh, We Are it, Quilt tell me more. is magic. I've never heard of Shout Quilt. out to, uh, I mean, Ashley Meyer, amazing. Mm -hmm. They just got, she just got a fun funding for like 3 million female owned mm -hmm. digital platform, a wow. place for self care and amazing. My sister's on it. Some of the, this is it, experts are on it. We Are Quilt, shout out to them. Absolutely wonderful. Um, it's a welcoming space, right? It's not instead, it's like going to happy hour with your girlfriends versus going to the mall and clubhouse as much as I love you. Um, and it's working, you know, it, that's a crowded mall. That's a stadium where yeah. clubhouse is, everybody is there for the right reason. It's predominantly women, um, and women business owners. So I definitely think it's something that you guys should check out. Every, mm. every room is soft to your point, right? It's not like trying to get you. It's like, what do you do? <laughs> Why are no. we you here? It's like, yeah, and, right? and it's like to be, yeah, I mean, to be um, uh, transparent, the other rooms really haven't been like that or have you, you haven't even. No. Uh, I, know, I filled like, out traumatic. my profile. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. And it's a process. <laughs> I mean, right. But that's to the, to your point, that's what I mean about the smaller rooms, right? It's, it, yeah. it isn't there. They're not assuming that, that I'm fanning them or trying to like mm -hmm. just get yeah. my two minutes or two seconds of fame. It's about networking. It's about being able to figure out, you know, so my intention was different because I did pop on to like a lot of the larger ones with well-known names, right? And then I was like, <laughs> I can't really participate here. Um, and then I had to really figure out what my goals were right? Like why I wanted to be on there in the first place. And mine is to, to help strengthen my, the community of remarkable women. So pay attention to the people that are, you know, then the small business owners and be part of those conversations versus, you know, just trying to go to a concert. Cause that's really what it is. It's like a live conversation. Yeah. Um, and, and, and it's hard to network the feedback that people have been giving in the clubhouse space is that it's hard to network <clears throat> at that <laughs> top level, even before the, the Android folks, folks have joined the madness, right? It's hard to network because everybody wants a piece of like the bigger people, right? Um, yeah, and there's, there's these like superstars that are getting all of the attention at this yeah. point. Yeah. When yeah. really we uh -huh. all, there needs to be the smaller intimate room so yeah. that, because there's so many um, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant people on there, sure. um, you know, creatives and business people and tons of, uh, blockchain and Bitcoin and, yes. you know, all the tech, all the tech people. All and there's a lot to learn, yeah. um, but you want to be able to participate. So yeah, you want to be able we're going to keep checking it out. Yeah. Keep checking it out. And here's my, also my thing is that even that as we're doing this, we can hop on to clubhouse. Like it doesn't have to be this grand deal. Yeah. Like 
for 2021, my goal is just to dumb things down for myself, right? I put a mm-hmm. lot of pressure on my on my own worst enemy in a lot of cases. So for me, it's I want to just turn down the volume of the pressure that I put on myself. I want to go and I want to meet people. Okay, so how do I do that? Maybe it's calling the two of you and being like, let's just jump on and talk about marketing and media and jewelry and how, to, how does that work? And yes. what are the experiences? And let's have a conversation about how we even work together. I think, I think that that will be useful as opposed to trying to pick the brain of someone that we most likely will never work with. Um, mm-hmm. I think it would be, you know, it just allows for the room for us to be able to use our voices to educate people who are actually interested. I love that. I would love to do a, a, a clubhouse or a room. Uh, it's a room or a clubhouse. Yeah, yeah. Those are the two. A room that's just um, grassroots brand building one on one. Oh, like, 100%. Let me take, because there are a lot of kitchen table 100%. entrepreneurs yes. on there looking yes. for knowledge, but they're trying to go from their kitchen table here where they're making candles, say, to yeah. like up here. And right. that's not, you got to, there, there are incremental steps you have to take to get there. It's very rare that someone is a, is a true overnight sensation, if ever. Ever. You know, ever. even if they're perceived that way. No. Um, so I think brand building 101, grassroots brand building 101 would be a really cool room to do. Or oh my gosh. And I, I would, I would, I'd be there in a minute. So you just gotta give me the alert or tell me when you're going to do it. Because I also think that what I love is to get the conversation going at the various stage, right? So yes. like, for instance, if you're meeting with the head of design for Louis Vuitton, whatever it is, and you are a kitchen table entrepreneur, there's a far road between the kitchen table and that space. And so not that we, you know, we're middle of the road, but in that way, but we provide accessible real time advice. And there's something to the real life skills versus the aspirational stuff. You know what I mean? Like we're not talking about placing ads in Vogue. We're talking oh. about how to increase our following. <laughs> no. You know what I mean on Instagram, and I think yeah. that, that I think that there's a benefit to that. So the way that I kind of see it is, it's conversations versus entertainment. So the larger space is like, let me see what they're talking about, with no interest in participating. And then there's the smaller rooms where you know I can get involved and meet people. Yes, I would love to. I would love to get a room together, yeah. and maybe us and two other yeah. moderators and. It'd be, be so really fun. fun. Yeah. It would be so fun. Well, you're stuck with me. So, you know, whenever, <laughs> whenever you need me, you just need to put up the, the chel sign in the sky and I, I show up, I come running. Perfect. <laughs> um, let me check, Danielle. Do we have any questions? Any, anything happening there? Everyone's just saying hi. Just saying hi. Oh, all right. I love, they're all so awesome. Everybody's so awesome. Well, I, I mean, I know that your community knows what's going on, but I haven't talked to you. I want to know about the new products. Can I do that? Can I steal some time to know about what you guys have going on? <laughs> New products. Well, yeah. All the amazing, gorgeous things I see on your Instagram. Are you guys yes. obsessed? You guys are obsessed. There's stuff. Well, you, you talk about the candles. I'll go get the new little. Oh, I was just going to talk about the purchase that oh, I made this gosh. morning. What? <laughs> Shop at your work. <gasps> They're gorgeous. <gasps> yes. The new Camille Caustic Cosmos hoops. They're gorgeous. I'm I love obsessed. you guys so much. I love you guys so much. I know all of you love them too. They're so great. I mean, I got like, I can't. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. The photo will go up in a little bit. She just pops Look out and pops in. Uh, right, the this candles, like this is a big deal. I mean, obviously the followers already deal. know, but I just want to say congratulations because it's amazing. I love what you do. Thank you. I love everything. There. I am obsessed with our candles. Oh, we need, we need to just send a out. Okay. Yeah. So we I have love. three cents right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want to go transport yourself to Hawaii, Bermuda, or the Amalfi Coast of Italy? Where would you like to go, Chalman? Do I want to go to Italy? I think I want to go to Italy. That's my favorite one. Yeah. I think I want to go to Italy. I do. Right. Yes. Italy do. is coming to you. Ah! Italy is a little bit more, less, would you say it's a little less. more masculine? As, I, as am I. So it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, though I don't, I will alpha male. Hawaii and Bermuda are very sweet, whereas yeah, Amalfi isn't sweet. Yeah, so I don't think I don't think it's necessarily masculine. I just think it's a different. It's Mediterranean. It's like the different. 
Give me the different. Give me what I, I'll have them all eventually because I will go shopping in a minute. But give yes. me, you know, the, the, I want to be able to experience it. I feel, but that's the pivot, right? That we were talking about before. That's the pivot, right? That you you really leaned in to additional things. It was an opportunity to do so. I love, I love, I love everything you guys are churning out. Awesome. Yeah, and it took. I mean, it really took the entire pandemic. I mean, yes, we're still in in the pandemic, but the heat of the pandemic yeah. is where. I mean, it took this whole time to bring these to fruition. Yeah, um, and thank goodness we did because it's been very, very successful so far. Because you never know. It's like you never know. Yeah, no it, it, is it going to sell? Is it not going to sell? Right. It's really we don't <laughs> we don't know. Let's try. Um, so this is super cute for people who do not wear a ton of jewelry, which there yeah. are many people out there. Um, this What's is that? a new little. <gasps> That's exactly like, what I was talking about. That's tag, what I'm talking about. Keychain. How I cool love. is that? I love. I love. Gorgeous. That's so, exactly what I was talking about. Really? Yes. What I was just like, tell me about the new, because that's new to me. I oh, mean, yes, totally. I mean, we've never, and it's got this great little branded tag on it. How cute and there's is that? little details on the actual key ring part. It, it has our, you know, our branding on there, stainless so steel. So it's never, it's like indestructible, mm -hmm. not to mention yes. it's infinitely recyclable. Stainless steel I love her. can be recycled over love and over her. and over again. And I am like, I'm not a purse tag type of girl, but I'll tell you, I'm putting this on my purse. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, now I, I so am great. a purse tag type of girl. See, I'm a keychain kind of girl. And it's funny, yeah. I, was, I was talking to Allie G, who you may or may not know, she's yeah. a wonderful person. Oh, I would love Allie G. And she oh said, goodness. I don't have keys. I don't need a keychain. And I'm just like, what? what? She doesn't have keys? To what? At all? None? She doesn't None? drive. Is she in the city? She doesn't drive. Everything's well, a fob. She, said, you know, she has the keyless fob for her car. So the key, that just stays in her purse. And I'm like, well, how do you get into your house? So she's like, oh, I have, you know, like a keypad to get into the house. Wow. Too. So she's like, that's I, so good to know. Taking, taking your keychain and making it a purse tag is perfect for me. And I'm like, well, I'm glad you can work it into Right. It I'm like glad that. you can figure it I'm getting I'm, a, I'm slightly <laughs> obsessed with her technology and like what that looks like. I'm, like keychains get bulky for me because I lose my keys. Do you know, like I, uh, I don't know where they are. So I need to hear them. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yes. I'd rattle yes. something just, oh, they're my keys. There they are. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Put them in a specific place, but I don't, I know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> when, that's what I do. Oh my gosh. I love, but that's gorgeous. That the candles, I just love you. I just think that again, it's that pivot. It's that, you know, leaning into like, okay, what else can I do? As opposed yes. to, you know, what nothing. am I going to do? Right, yeah. right, right. It's been right. so fun to have that time to yeah. get creative. And we, trust me, we have plenty more coming. So you'll, love that. <laughs> you'll, you'll love it. Yeah. I love that um, so much. So we, what do you think yeah. wrap up with maybe some beauty hats? Uh, do we have any beauty sure. hats? Do I, I would love to know Cheldon's beauty hacks. Beauty hacks. Well, I have. Three years ago, I had my son and he took like all of my hair. So like, I have oh. no I have no eyelashes anymore. So I put yeah. eyelashes on every day, which is like a whole thing. And which is kind of slightly obnoxious. I want to get, you know, the pandemic is not a good time for me to, you know, do additional services. But I do love, I love as far as self-care, like, and I don't know if this is a life hack or a beauty hack or whatever it is, but I, it is a self-care necessity for me yes I make appointments with myself like I uh, literally uh, have a point because I'm stern and for a lot of you multitaskers out there you're like I live by my calendar I live by my schedule right <laughs> and so I can't do it and because I used to make excuses not to take care of myself not to get things done not to like you know all of those things I was always last the majority of us are always last on our list children are fed I'm eating standing up that kind of thing. Yeah. So for me, I was like, I have this appointment. And I don't even think my husband knows that I do have these appointments with myself. I have <laughs> these appointments with myself that are, I have a meeting. Meanwhile, it's with myself um, <laughs> to get the things done that make me happy and bring me joy. So for yes. those of you that are living these crazy lives, you will find it easier to find the time if you block out the time. And that hour, two hours that you afforded yourself, you will not be missed. 
And I'm not saying that to hurt your feelings. I'm saying that because you're questioning whether or not you have the time, but if you block it out. Then you have the time. Then you have the time. Oh, I love that. that. So that's what I do to take care of myself. That's a hack. You know. I'm tricking myself into taking care of myself. Right, right. (laughs) Yeah. No, that makes all the sense in the world. It's like such a simple um, tip, but it, it, it would, I can see that working for myself. You know, last time we spoke, you gave us the, um, the life, uh, the life tip of using, instead of having a to-do list, have a to-day list and a to-do list. And there's like four of our team members that have implemented that on a daily basis. Every day. Stop! Mm-hmm. Yeah, we use it. Right, we'll say, that. "Oh, what's on your today list?" We use it. You know, we we use it every yeah. day. Oh my gosh, my heart, my heart. <laughs> I love that because I was I was a. I mean, just again, not having time, not having time. Like I would wake up. The origin of it, it was wake up and just create this monster of a list, like yeah. grotesque. And it would I'd be thinking about it. I was brushing teeth, and and it'd be like seventy things. There's physically no way. Yeah. That I, in any waking time in my life that I would be able to accomplish 70 things, right? So I was emotionally setting myself up to be disappointed in myself, right? Totally. Because when I went to bed, I would only have five things done and I would think that I was a failure. Now there's only five things on my list. I get five things done and I go to bed a rock star. That's you're a rock what star. I decided. Yeah, you're a rock star. Yeah. So um, our product coordinator, uh, Laura Pryor, has a sign above her desk that says, you can do anything, but you can't do everything. A hundred percent. That's a good one. I, that like, it's been resonating with me. It's mm-hmm. so true. Cause people constantly ask, and they probably ask you as well, how, like, how do you do it all? Like, what's your work life balance? You know what I mean? That's like the, like the question that we get on a regular basis. And I do what I'm doing a hundred percent of the time. So as I'm sitting here with you, you have a hundred percent of my attention. If I'm yeah. sitting with my three-year-old, he has 100% of my attention. If I'm making dinner, I give it 100% of my attention. To that point, and your, the quotes point, you can't be everything to everyone. You can't do everything at the same time. But I can, can give 100%. ask me about work-life balance, I want to take a photo of the seven, seven laundry, clean laundry baskets of clothes in my dining room. Seven. God, I love clean. you. Because it's not... Let's talk about it, how it's not doing the laundry. It's putting no, it away. It is the putting it, of the it's way. Not even, it's not even folding the laundry. Right. It's doing it, folding it. I'm good. It's actually getting it from the yes. folded point into I see you a drawer. Out there, ladies. Yeah. That's yeah. the problem. I don't know what the hurdle is. I think it's a mental block. Like I do the laundry, I fold it, and I'm like, later. Yeah. Like as if I've done enough. Like yes. it's like I've contributed enough to this task. I'll see you in a few, as opposed to just put it away. Like I can't, it's just like, we've hit a certain benchmark in our relationship, Mm -hmm. denim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will see you in two days. Because I'm guilty as well. There'd be the day where I'm finally like, okay, today I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna throw on a TV show that I've seen a thousand times and get it done. And then I get it done and there's still the entire TV show left to watch. I'm like, no time. (laughs) What was what is wrong with me? It didn't even take a TV episode to do it. That that's the life lesson. Cause even like I was doing a thing and I was talking to people about worry and the fact, and I had shared a quote recently about your worry ruins today for something that may never happen tomorrow, right? So like you're in a space where it's going to take forever. It's going to take forever. It's good. The amount you've worried longer than it will take you to do the thing. So you've thought about it so much longer than it would take you just put away. I mean, now I have to go put away laundry. Thank you, ladies. Uh, Sorry about that. (laughs) Now I have no choice. That's on my my laundry. It's on entertainment. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Yeah, but I think that that's one of those things. Like, and I find myself doing that, like hemming and hawing and nervous and nervous. And then I rip it off like a band aid. And I'm like, what? I will Dang. never get that time back, though. That anxiety, yep. that anxious time. And so I try to check that from time to time. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I love it. We always take so much away from these conversations with you. So I love you. thank I love you. you. Well, I love um, you guys so much. We yeah, love you awesome. too. And and if you loved listening to Cheldon and all of her wisdom, you can follow her. Please at this is it TV. Everywhere at this is it TV, this is it TV.com, this is it.tv to watch more shows. I am around. Stalk me freely. 
<laughs> and we do. And we do. Yeah. I love you guys. Sheldon, so we love fun. you so much. Thank you for being with us today. We can't wait to catch up with you soon. And we're going to get the Amalfi Coast candle in the mail to you today or tomorrow later. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I got, now I got to put away my laundry. All good. All good. <laughs> no, sorry about that. I should have just kept it. No, it's okay. It, it needs to be done. Rip it off yes. like a band-aid. Absolutely. All right. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye, bye. ladies. Bye. Bye. <laughs>